Hear me? There are people today who have suffered people in your family. Listen to this. The time will come when such demons will be begging to die. Because they are suffering on earth is too much. They will be begging to die. Lord, let me die so I can rest. And God said, no, suffer it a bit. Feel what they felt. And it will happen. It will happen. Not gradually. Not eventually. It will happen urgently. And immediately. In Jesus' precious name. Once you connect light, you have connected conquest. That is what the word gives you. Such that it will never be said when you die. When the time comes that a witch killed him. A wizard killed her. A native doctor finished him. It's an abomination. It is like saying that a chicken killed a lion. It's an abomination. It's an abomination. It is like saying that a lizard killed an elephant. It's an abomination. It will never be said. Even if the native doctors are one million. One ray of light is enough to make a difference in gazillions of darkness. I speak to someone here today. Every force of darkness currently reigning and ruling around your life and your destiny. They bow for fire. They bow for the light of God's word. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody was walking the motor park. Used to know him many, many years ago. Almost 30 years ago. And then suddenly, that was it. He ran into an arrow. Driver was driving on the highway between Otuku and Makodi. And somewhere around Ali he said, the passenger said, they should go and ease themselves. He stopped and the, and the passengers went out to urinate and come. He put his head on the steering. And when they come, he said, driver, can we go? Pshh. He has taken off. We live in a world of flying arrows. One day I was walking in my parlor. And I, 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 just, I just felt, and then I began, my children ran out and said, Daddy, what's happening? I said, I'm fighting. Because I felt an arrow and I retrieved it, sent it back to sender. One day I was in an aircraft, I felt an arrow, terrible arrow. I've never felt anything like that before. Return back to where you... We live in a world of flying arrows. And the devil tries his best all the time. Uh, because he knows his time is short. So he's doing a lot of overtime. But he will never catch you. That is why you need to move about with the shield of faith. So you don't end as a casualty. You don't end as a casualty. You don't end suddenly as a casualty. Is God speaking to anybody here at all? Shields you. Faith gives you victory. So the word of God charges your faith and faith guarantees your victory. First John chapter 5 and in verse 4. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our faith. Overcomer means you are not an undergoer. The overcomer is the opposite of the undergoer. Do you see what I'm undergoing? Do you see what I'm passing through? No, no, no. The overcomer is on top. The undergoer is under. Am I communicating at all? From any angle the devil came from, you are equal to the task. Equal to the task. Equal to the task. Per day, per night, per time. Equal to the task. Get ready. Something is happening to you tonight. Faith is relevant to keep you alive. 
Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. The just shall live by his faith. The just shall live by his faith. The just shall live by his faith. Not just by church attendance. By his faith. Not just by going to church. By his faith. Congratulations for going to church. Very, very good. But in addition to church going, your faith must be sharp. Your faith must be alive. Your faith must be, must be drastic. Do you know the reason why? Because there are so many devils and witches and wizards that are surprised that you are still alive. We live in a very, very wicked, bitter world. Very, your very existence is an annoyance to people. And then when you succeed a little, it is hypertension to others. And then when you are extremely successful, it is stroke for other people. They are not, they don't mind you being on the ground. But that you made a difference that you are somewhere. It's an irritation. It's an aggravation. So they rise up with a bitterness that is as strong as witchcraft. And you need to, <laughs> you need to, you need to be charged up in faith. So the expectations of the wicked concerning your life does not by mistake come to pass. I prophesy to somebody here, by mistake, the expectations of the wicked will never come to pass in your life. It will never come to pass in your life. It will never come to pass in your life. They will never come to pass in your life. You believe that, shout the loudest, amen. What will power do? Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give unto you power. This power coming from the word of his mouth. And the power makes you to tread on serpents and to tread on scorpions and to tread on and to tread over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any mistake any circumstance any happenstance any 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 accident any satanic incidents any 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 orchestration any maneuvering any any I'm just, I'm just looking for what to use. That is, that is, this thing mistakenly happened and he died. Not you. Doctor made a mistake. Not you. Oh my God. It was not meant for him before, but just a stray bullet. Not you at all. Nothing shall by any means. Nothing shall by any mistake. Nothing shall by any oversight. Ah, oversight. There was an oversight. Nothing shall by any oversight. Nothing shall by any oversight hurt you. When in Boko last night, woman had been operated upon, had cesarean session, brought out a child, and doctors left surgical packs and Packs, gauze and packs. Just the gauze itself, with the with the with the, with the rope of it, the handle of it, and left it right inside. Then the operation site had incisional hyena bulged like this. That is to say that the muscles were not opposed together. And so the, 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 the wound broke down inside. Only the skin is holding it. So the intestine is literally viscerized. This area opposed to the abdomen. The, 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 the two muscles, the rectus abdominus muscles are not opposed. And this, she was in pain day and night. But she said, she kept seeing me every night. Laying hands on her in the dream. For two months. After two months, what they forgot inside came out. Without a second surgery, it came out in the toilet. She brought it yesterday night. Oh, yes. Next thing, she came with a bulged, distended 
Hynia institutional Hynia by this morning is deflated. Nothing shall, it is not, nobody's mistake shall lead you to premature death. nothing shall by any mistake nothing shall by any mistake we're in Enugu another caesarean session that was badly handled and then there was the uh, the urinary bladder was merged together with the uterus or the lower cervical area and then there was the vesicovasica fistula which means that there is a connection between the urine place and the female reproductive tract, meaning that urine is coming out continuously. That is continuously urine is dripping. So she's wearing pampas continuously, continuously, matured woman, smell of urine all the time. Jehovah healed it at Asaba Crusade. Am I communicating? That is why you need the word. So you can be connected to power. So that any way, nothing shall by enemies. It's not in your dream that they will suffocate you. It is not in the daytime that they will suffocate you. It is not by the power of armed men that they will finish you. Nothing by any means. Whether in the realm of the spirit or in the realm of the physical or in the realm of the occult, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Somebody shout the loudest. Amen. Psalm 91 verse 1 all the way to verse 4. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers. And under his wing shall thou trust. Why? His, his truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. What is his truth? Thy word is truth. John 17, 17b. 17 thy word is truth. His truth said by revelational equation, therefore, you can say his word shall be thy shield. I said many years ago, what shields your heart from arrows of destruction is word in your heart. What shields your life? I called it resident revelation. Not the one you look for when you are challenged, the one that resides there. Am I communicating? The one that if the devil wakes you up in the night, you are aware. That's as a standing corn of wheat. I am not permitted to be cut short until it is time. You are aware that he died young for me to live long. He tasted premature death. So I can taste longevity. Day or night, you are aware. Am I communicating at all? It is called resident revelation. That is my personal. Yes. Shall be, and I said that time, don't walk about with an uncovered chest. When there is no word of God that you can hold on to, day and night, that is, it is in your subconscious realm. That is what makes the devils to come, and you are not, they are not able to pursue, and you are able to run. No, it's not possible. You know? Your, 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 your physical relationship with the word affects your spiritual reactions in the realm of the unconscious. When you are asleep and then they come looking for you. How you are in the day with the word determines how you react. When they say, one day I finish demons until... When I woke up, I was almost feeling guilty. I, I wasted them a mass. So whoever this group of people are, 
that came like this. Not one of you survived. Not one. It's only heaven will know. Those who were buried before time. Because they matched electric cable. Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? Very, very important. Very, very important. His truth shall be thy shield. They gave you poison to drink and you are drinking it and it's entering their stomach. And you, are, and you, are, and you, you are just drinking it. It's, it's backfiring. It's, and then they are, they are dying. Well, everything they are expecting from you is happening to them. And they say, what kind of person is this? Are you following what I'm saying here today? That hypertension they sent to you, that diabetes, is returning a hundredfold back to sender. That stroke and paralysis they have sent to you is returning a thousand times back to senders. The infection they've sent to you is returning a thousand times back to sender. If you are saying amen, shout a louder believer, say amen. Dr. Misanencia was listening to one message today on our way back in the air. What was the title? Fulfilling Your Days. She said, this message is so powerful. I told her, I said, I will listen to it again myself. So, so you, you come afresh and then it charges you up afresh. And then you walk with audacity, with rascality. And they are looking at you and they are wondering why you are, you are still there. And you are telling them, I will outlive all of you witches and wizards. Longest time after you have all died, we are still here. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? Longest time after they have faded away like chickens, we are still here. Somebody shout power. Psalm 34 verse 7. This is what they do. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. And he delivereth them. So as you speak, you move angels on assignment. You just position them to do things. Then those who are qualified for wasting are wasted. Those who are qualified for the sword are given the sword. Those who deserve hunger receive hunger. Those who deserve paralysis receive it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Those who, who deserve nightmare and insomnia, sleepless night, they receive it. Because there are some people the Lord does not want to lay to rest in a hurry. He wants them to feel the pain of what they cause others. They just feel it for a while before they are laid to rest. And also to make them see that their negative prophecies come to pass proverbs chapter 6 verse 20 to 22 very interesting scripture and i would like you to look at it he said my son keep thy father's commandment and forsake not the law of your mother the word bind the word continually on your heart. Keep them in your heart. Tie them around your neck. Do you know the meaning of that? Let it determine your life's direction. Let it determine your life's direction. Let it determine where you look. You know it is the neck that turns the head. Let it determine your life's direction. Let it determine where you face in life. After you have put it in your heart, and you have tied it in your neck. Look at this. This is one of the most interesting things you will read. When you go, the word in your heart and the word in your neck will lead you. When you sleep and you are not aware of the plans of the enemy, disasters here and there, when thou sleepest, it shall keep you. At the time when you can't keep yourself, at the time when you can't watch over yourself. At the time when 
you know, the enemy sows tears in the night. The time when enemy sow tears, I think it was Matthew chapter 13 verse 24, 25, where he said when men slept, his enemy sow tears. At the time when the enemy is busy sowing tears. You know, he says the arrows that fly by day and destruction at, no, no. Terror by night, arrows that fly in the day. At the time when the terror of the night is passing, you are asleep and you are not aware. The word in your heart, the word in your neck is keeping you. You say, you can sleep. Let me watch. Until you speak it, you are not believing it yet. At every occasion, stand in front of your mirror. This is a beautiful and wonderful creature of God. Daughter of destiny. Child of destiny. Headed somewhere to manifest. One billion devils can't stop this man. Can't stop this girl. Hey! Stand up on your feet with a shout of victory. 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 Hey, you guys. You matter. You matter to your generation. You are not wasting your time. You can't waste your life. You can't live as a failure. You, you, you. I'm talking to you. You can't live as a failure. <laughs> hey! And you can't die without succeeding. Like a soko prakata. Rain the word on your life. Rain the word on your own life. Rain the word on your own life. Rain the word on your own destiny. Rain the rain of the world. Rain it on your children. 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 Rain it on your wife. Rain it on your loved ones. Let the word come out of your mouth. As, let every occasion be an occasion that will make you speak word. So before you sleep tonight, I want you to talk some talk. Don't live in assumption. Live by revelation. Don't think that things will work themselves out. You say, I have so much in store for you. Far beyond what you can ever imagine. Just listen. What you can ever comprehend. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It has not entered the heart of man the things that I have prepared for those who love me. And I reveal them to them by my spirit. And even in this season, the spirit of revelation, the spirit of wisdom, guidance and direction, is being released. You receive direction and instruction to do things a bit differently. To take some steps, make some moves. That will drastically change your outcome. With your hands. The garment of disfavor is living and the garment of acceptance is coming. He said, I'll make you a sign and a wonder to your generation. Those who despised you and those who thought you, waste, you were wasting your time. You wouldn't need to preach to them. They will see your outcome and see your results. Yes, you will preach, but the, the outcome of your life. will produce the results you desire. Yeah. Lift up your hands. That is the results you are going to get will weigh more than anything you could have said. Yeah. They will beg you to follow you to your God. Yeah. They will beg you to follow you to know your God. Yeah. 
Lift your hands high up now. It's an atmosphere of visitation, an atmosphere of encounter, an atmosphere of release. Let's pray on a hill, Sapila Rananish. Let Kazero name in Agagalala. That conspiracy of death is broken right now. Sita Laya Yada Geda Ratada Galaya. Let the separata Shekora Katakalala. Coming out of the pit. That black morning garment on your body is set on fire right now. Receive his touch of power. nobody shall exchange your life nobody shall exchange your favor nobody shall exchange your destiny hey 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 i declare the reversal of every exchange now the reversal of every demonic exchange now Those in need of new organs tonight, receive it. New lens, new eyeballs, new iris, new liver, new kidneys, new heart, new lungs, new pancreas. And I decree overnight divine visitation. The God of this commission, the mantle of this house, visit you overnight to tackle your battle in the name of jesus a woman testified yesterday for almost 15 years spirit husband molested her every night married woman and that every time the molestation happens okay and the, it happens the most near her cycle every time it happens she knows her cycle is next day. And after the cycle, the demon returns back. After fire preaching last night, that demon returned to try to molest her. And according to the woman, he has already commenced the molestation. And then God's servant came, mantle of the commission. What are you doing here? And the demon tried to run. Fire! Fire! And that, with, with, with whip, that demon was roasted she got her freedom after almost 15 years tonight whatever has not let you rest they shall be laid to rest and every human agent that will not let you rest listen jehovah god will give them the final solution the final solution the final solution Every devil attempting you this month is on a suicide mission. If they come and jam you, it is like jamming transformer. Everywhere they take your name to this month, those who took your name there shall be laid to rest. When they take your name for evil, for diabolism, they shall be laid to rest. You shall hear the disaster of the wicked this month. Everyone who has the cause to travel by land, by air, by sea, your journeys, your travels are secured by the blood of Jesus. Your travels and your journeys are preserved by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This oil, Shako Barahasiti Sigaladashi, is released as a seal of touch not. Amen. Touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. Amen. You are declared untouchable. Amen. You are declared untouchable. Amen. You are declared untouchable. Amen. You are decreed untouchable. You are declared unharmable. 
you are declared indomitable by this anointing tonight you will receive diverse encounters positive divine encounters that will confirm your preservation and your deliverance and that will open your doors and change your story in the name of Jesus so shall it be in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you and the Lord cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you in Jesus name Say!